Well, great to be with you once again. Welcome to Faith Matters. We are having a journey in the Word of God like never before, Jen, as we're dealing with an exciting topic once again today. Absolutely. We know how important prayer is to every single child of God. But what is most important is that we understand how to pray effectively. And that's what this program is all about. That's right. So come on, sit back, enjoy the ride with us. It's going to be good. Don't change the channel. Stay with us for the next 30 minutes, we're going to be talking about your prayer and how important it is to the heart of God. We'll be right back. Well, are you ready? I am ready, Jen. We are on a journey over here and we are learning how to pray effectively. Absolutely. All right, not just any prayer. This needs to be an effective prayer because that's what the Word of God says uh, for us to be able to pray accordingly. Uh, remember, get those emails to us, get those requests, get those comments to us, fm at myfaithtv.com. Remember, this is the place where we know more than anything, faith truly does matter. Now, Jen, we're talking here about those five steps, uh, the important steps of prayer. We, we've, we've looked at it not in a particular order, but we're looking at the scripture from Philippians 4 verse 6. And I want to recap it quickly it. because to, today we are going on. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Philippians 4 verse 6. We, we dealt with the first step, the, the importance of prayer, the power of prayer. We, we looked at that a little bit, what prayer really meant. Uh, from the Word up close and, personal. and up close and personal and how we, we spoke last time about getting into the face of God and, yes. and that intimate place with Him. So Jen, what are we going to be dealing with today? Well, again, speaking about that intimate place that we have with God and having an earnest expectation that an exchange will take place. Yeah. That you're not wondering, where is God? Can He hear me? But you are confident. You know that you have the audience of one and that this is a time where just you and God are intimately connected because He does care for you and you can expect an exchange to take place. Your burdens exchange for His peace. That's right. Now remember, remember, you've got to come into His throne room, into that place of intimacy boldly. It is a key. Uh, you, you can't allow the frustrations of the world, the sins of, of your yesterdays, the, the things that uh, you've maybe messed up with or, or let, let the side down, as we say. You can't allow those things to hinder you from His presence and what His desire is for you. He's looking for you. Remember what we said, Jen? Face, face to, to face. face. That's what He's looking for. That's what God wants. He wants you to come as you are into His presence. That's Absolutely. what grace is all about. In fact, why don't you just deal with it straight away? If you are worried about something that you've done or sinned, then just get it out the way. And you do that by Well, let's pray, Jen. Absolutely. Father, I thank mm. you in the name of Jesus for every person that can hear the sound of my voice. Yeah. Lord, for everyone who feels completely unworthy or that there is no way that he can qualify, he or she can qualify to come into your throne room with boldness because of the sin that they have had in their lives. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you are the God who knows all and sees all and who has promised that when we confess our sins to you, That's right. you are just and you are faithful and you will cleanse us and forgive us of all unrighteousness. So Father, we lay the sin before you. We lay anything that we feel is hindering us from coming face to face with you. We lay it at the foot of Jesus. We thank you for your forgiveness right now in the name of Jesus and by faith we declare that we are washed clean by your blood we have been justified we have been cleansed we have been purified and we are sparkly clean in mm. front of you now in Jesus name amen amen Hallelujah. all right come on let's get going because okay. I know today is going to be something special we're looking at a second step and a third step the steps of supplication 
a request and be known. Absolutely. We're just going to clump those Let's all together. Let's put them all together. Three important things. <laughs> Remember, we said there are five. All right. So we're going to look at supplication. We're going to look at request. Yes. And we're going to look at the word known out of that scripture in uh, Philippians that we've been looking at. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer, supplication, supplication. with thanksgiving, let your requests be made Maybe. known unto God. Let's go. Awesome. Okay. So first of all, let's take a look at probably the most beautiful, wonderful word in this, and that is the word supplication. Yeah. Now, as you know, we did a bit of research, a bit of homework. Uh, we got the help of Rick Renner as well, the Greek scholar, looked up in his books as well. And we found that that word supplication comes from a Greek word spelled D-E-I-S-I-S. Deisis, Deisis. Deisis, yeah. All right. Now, basically what this does, it entails, it gives you a picture of a person who is earnestly beseeching someone. He has a need that he needs to hand over. Okay. He Almost like to, a beggar. Well, well, I wouldn't say so much a beggar. It's more a thing of, I have a desperate need and I need something done about it. That's right. Okay. So in other words, when we come to God in supplication, it means we are coming with an absolute, a real need. It's right. not a wishy-washy, I'm not sure if God wants to do this or not. God, I don't mean to trouble you. I don't know if this is really what you want. That is not the way we come before God. That is not supplication. God says when when we come before him in prayer, we have to do it with supplication. That means we need to be very sure of exactly what it is we want to pray for. Right. You have to know exactly what it is you want God to deal with. No wishy-washy pie in the sky, who knows what. It's a taking something that is an earnest appeal of yours, coming and meaning business in your prayer with God. Mm. Okay, he says come confidently, but now he says bring that thing to me and I need to know exactly what it is you are wanting. Oh, but God, you know my needs. Yes, He knows your needs, but He says you have to come and bring those needs to Him. He says, make your requests known to Him. That is, take that thing and say, God, this is what I need. Mm. Now, when we speak about the supplication or this earnest appeal. It reminds you of that scripture in James. I love the scripture. James 5 verse 16. Right. The very same word supplication that days does, however you yeah, pronounce yeah. it, that is used in this verse. It says James 5 verse 16. The effectual fervent, fervent prayer pray. of a righteous man availeth much. much. Come on. That's okay. right. You have to be so sure of what it is you're praying for or what request it is. And you have to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that that request is completely in the line of God's word and His will. That's right. Because when you have that, Andre, you will not be afraid to take it to God mm -hmm. because you know it's on His heart for you. That's right. You know, Jen, we said this last week and I want to recap here again. If we don't do something boldly, like a lion, Confidently. Yeah, when you come into the presence of God, you cannot allow the issues of your mistakes of your yesterday to hold you back from His presence. You have to come in believing and knowing as His child. That is the message of grace. That's the beautiful thing of, of, of what grace is. It's, it's, it's the, the, the goodness of God that when you come to repentance, He forgives you. He removes that sin as far as the east is from the west. So you can stand in awe in His presence and you can believe. It's, it's like I would be looking at you as my wife. I would be in your presence and I will, I will be able to believe that you are here. Why? Because you are so close to me. It's got to be that same belief in the presence of God. But when you come in, you, you have to say, Lord, this is I am, th this is my dasis. This is my effectual, fervent prayer. This is my passionate, my heartfelt, my sincere prayer. Lord, this is what I'm believing for by faith. Mm -hmm. All right. It's, it's a very strong way that it has to be put. So, so when you're facing a problem that deeply concerns you, you, you can't allow fear. You can't be afraid to come into his presence. You have to come in and beseech him to be able to meet you at the point 
of that need. Whatever you trust in God for, you've got to believe it and watch what God will do Absolutely. in your life. Exactly. And let me tell you something. That's why God wants us to remind Him of, of, of His promises. Right. In fact, He says in His Word to remind Him of His promises. So when we have a request or when we have a need, let me tell you what is going to make your confidence sky high, what is going to make build that inside of you, knowing that expectation that I know when I come to God with this need, I know that He is going to meet it. Do you know what it is? It's to know what His will is concerning your need. In other words, if it is a financial need, if mm. it is um, concerning a relationship, no matter what it is, get into the Word of God. Get into the Word and find out what the Word says concerning your request. If you know that it's completely in line with His Word and His will, you will have incredible confidence when you come before Him. Father, I know that you want me to prosper in all things. I know that this situation, it's not going to get in my way anymore. You can take care of it because you promised in your Word that you will take care of every need. And you can really Really go with the Word of God. When your request is backed by God's own Word, you have the confidence that whatever you ask, you will receive. Come on, we know all the scriptures in That's Mark. Right. That's all right. the scriptures that speak about how to get answered prayer. That if we understand that this is God's will and we bring the promises to Him, we can, without a shadow of a doubt, know that He will honor His Word concerning us. It has nothing to do with arrogance. It has nothing to do with uh, just expect God. Uh, well, I don't even know how to put it, but it's almost like some, sometimes people feel when we pray to God, we have to um, almost grovel. We, but that's not what He says we must do. He says, I need an earnest, earnest prayer, an effective prayer, a fervent prayer. I want to know that you mean business with me. I want to know that you know what my will is and you coming to me as my child and saying, Father, this is what I require of you. This is what I need you to do in my life. Yeah, and your word yeah. says that you will do this. So, you know, as you do that, that that's, that's right. the kind of prayer right. that God answers. It has to be the prayer that availeth much is a prayer that is fervent, mm. that is earnest, not around the bush wondering, will he do it, won't he do it? If you know the word says it, you take the word with your prayer and you pray directly to him. Yeah. Jen, you, you know, I, it's just so much, but that's what I'm so excited about because when we get in to understanding truly what the power of prayer is, mm. it, it moves mountains. Of course it does. It yes. repositions you. It puts you in a place of, of breakthrough and blessing. It, it puts you in a place of God's favorite. Now, I know people say, yeah, look, God doesn't have favorites, but, but I, I, I've got a little bit of a different thought on that. That's All what right? Psalm says. I, I tell you something, when you come and earnestly seek God's face, I want to tell you, He loves you so much. He, he just wants to reward. What father doesn't want to reward his children when his children do well? Yeah when his children do right, when his children are in his presence. That's what he says, the faithful will flourish. That's right. He says that you will flourish if you are faithful in coming to him in prayer yeah. and praying in a way that he it gets his attention. He doesn't want the wishy-washy. I mean, you would know those of you who are parents or even if you aren't a parent, but you can understand if you have a child who you love so much and you know that child has a real need and they come before you to ask for that need to be met but they just can't get to the point of asking it it actually irritates you yeah, yeah. you know you kind of think would you just get to the point and ask me what is really on your heart i want to hear what is on your heart what's the question <laughs> come on there we go that's, that's... and you need to know you need to make business with god you yeah. need to mean business with god go before him in that confidence in that boldness and with prayer and supplication make your requests known to him him. That's Don't right. be afraid to ask him. He says, ask me. He says, ask and you yeah. will receive. Yeah. You have not because you ask not. <laughs> you, you, you know, I, I, lo I love that word known that we're talking about because that, that word known means to broadcast. Mm -hmm. 
In other words, make a loud noise. Let it, it be known. Let it be known. That's what we're doing right now. We are broadcasting this particular program around the world right now. We are letting it be known that God is a generous God. He's a good God. And He has place for you. He wants to hear from you, your heart to His. But what do you got to do? You've got to make your requests known. Absolutely. And it has to be based on His Word. That's right. And don't say, I can't find the scripture that bases my situation. Oh, you can. Have the Holy Spirit help you in this. Go and find out the will of God for your life. As you're in the Word, let me tell you, He takes you exactly where you need to be. Use your concordance. <laughs> Ask a friend who knows the Lord and knows the Word as well. Go together and mm. dig a little deeper and you will find a Word that has the heart of God for your situation. And let me tell you, once you have His heart from His Word, there is just the confidence that builds up inside of you because he will honor his word. That's and right. that's why this faith, it's a faithful prayer then. Then it really is a, 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 a prayer that is, you know already it's going to be answered because yeah. he promises he will always honor his word concerning you. There's no such thing of maybe, maybe not. It's always yes if it's his word. Always. That's right. Well, that's why the effectual prayer of a righteous man. That word righteous is that whole word faithful. It's, a, it's, a, it's about a man that comes into God's presence with a boldness. With a devotion with, towards God. That's it. With a heart that says, Lord, I'm here because I love you and I'm believing and trusting for what you are going to do in my life. I want to tell you, your life will never be the same. When you apply this in your life, when you choose to operate uh, in this direction in your prayer life, I want to tell you your family, your business, your church, your ministry, your, your gift, whatever that is. You might be an, an artist or you might be a singer, whoever you might be, whatever profession you are operating in. I want to tell you, you are going to be noticeably noticed. All right, people are going to see you. People are going to, 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 to take uh, 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 interest and notice of who you are. And you're just going to see things add to you. You're going to see increase come in every area of your life. Why? Because you have come into God's presence boldly, Jen. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have made those requests known before God. Absolutely. You mentioned again, just as it says in the Word, that uh, the prayers of a righteous man, right? Yeah, yeah. The fervent prayer of a righteous man. And remember, that's what, what made Abraham righteous before God. God said it was his faith. Faith, that's right. Because he refused to doubt or waver mm. when he came to God. And if you refuse to doubt or waver, but you believe his Word, and you have his Word, back in your prayer, let me tell you, he sees that as righteousness. That's right. You know, let's let's quickly just finish up with this because I want you to hear that. And I, I'm glad you touched on that, Jen, because here's the key. The key is when righteousness is measured in accordance to the Word of God by your faith. That's good. All right. You need to understand, again, it's not about your sin. It's you not about the mistakes the that you've made. Mm. It's about your faith. And this is what is so powerful about this. When you get into what God is saying over here and you truly understand it, all you've got to do is believe. All you've got to do is know who your God is and come into His presence and Amen. speak and pray and seek His face. And I want to tell you the very earth you're standing on will, will begin to shake. The winds Respond. will blow. There will be a response to the, the fervent prayer of a righteous man. Who's righteous? I'm righteous. Who's righteous, Jen? You righteous. Who's righteous? You righteous, cameraman. You righteous as well in your home. You righteous. Why? You've got to believe that. Why? Because faith is operating in your life. This is Faith Matters, and this is where we discuss things that really matter.
Wow, Jen, what a time we've had. My I mean, goodness. absolutely amazing. We got time just for one question quickly and maybe one comment, but we've asked you to write to us. We've asked you to get on uh, that email. Please do it, fm at myfaithtv.com, fm at myfaithtv.com. Every email comes directly to Jenny and myself. All right, every email is answered by us directly, every question. All right, we want you to understand this. We want you to get those emails to us, fm at at myfaithtv.com. And also, if you just want to be added to our database, added to our daily devotion, every single day we send out a oh, devotion yes. to each and every one of you that just write a one line to say, please add me to the daily devotional and uh, we'll add you on. And every morning you'll wake up with that daily devotion in your inbox as we continue on our journey even, of faith. You can even hear our voice now. You can even, they've just started <laughs> that. You can even hear the voice right now. We even speak the devotion to you. Jenny's done a great job recording all of those, especially for you. And uh, so if you'd like to get them, please just send us an email, fm at myfaithtv.com. Nothing more than just a one-line email saying, please add me to your daily devotional. But if you've got a question, let us know. If you've got a comment, come on, comment, tell us how you've been blessed and how you're enjoying this program. Jen, let's get to a question today. Okay, well, this is pretty much more um, something that really touched my heart. This, in fact, every single one of your emails touches our hearts. So we want to thank you and encourage you to keep sending them in. Yeah. But this was Sylvia and Sylvia sent this. Um, it's, it's really a testimony, babe, which is really special. She said, Dear Andre and Jenny, I watched your series for the first time today. Thank you so much for finding a way to help people internalize and realize the word of God in their lives. I'm on a journey myself each day learning to live by God's word and promise for our lives. Wow. I'm reading the Bible from the start. How cool okay. is that? I'm okay. so excited for yeah. that. I wanted to share with you because of the work that God is doing in me. I have gone through one bad situation after another for the last two years, but with grace, mercy, favor, strength, and love. I love your attitude, Sylvia. Mm -hmm. But even in the midst of troubles, God has continued to bless me. I've realized that we have to choose God's way every single day. That's right. And the more you do it, the easier it gets as your life becomes its own proof of God and the Spirit guides you. Don't you just love that? Ah, uh, you know, Sylvia, you just made our day. Thank you so You're much. You're a blessing, Sylvia. All right, that's what it's all about. I just love it when people write to us to say what this program's meant, and we want to hear from more of you, okay? Get, get those emails to us, fm at myfaithtv. Dot com. Jen, we got time just for one more quick uh, little question we can deal with over here. And uh, I know there's just so many mails that are coming in, but please quickly go even right now. Just record it. It's very easy. FM for stands for Faith Matters at myfaithtv.com. That's the email address. And uh, those comments and those questions and to be added to our daily devotional come straight uh, uh, into our inboxes and we answer each and every one. But come on, we got just a, another minute for one quick question. All right, okay. So um, this is from Arthur. And Arthur has said, I'm a Christian and I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and His Word, but I don't read the Bible frequently. What Come should on, I do Arthur. <laughs> to gain an interest in reading the Bible as it's a powerful prophecy? Help me, I need to be a Christian that begins to read the Word. <laughs> Arthur, stop your Facebook posts. <laughs> all right, Arthur, stop reading emails. Stop reading all your social media media and start reading the Word of God. If you, if you took just five or ten minutes a day, all right, of what you do with all your social media endeavors and all the other forms of communication we have today, and you just said, God, I'm going to take five, ten minutes to read the Bible. Uh, I want to tell you your life will change. Now, listen, Arthur, don't, don't go start in the Old Testament. All right, get into the New Testament. Start with the book of John. I always encourage people, you know, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the fourth book of the New Testament. Great book to start with because it's a book that's really, it's just so real. It's so simple. It's so plain. And, and you can just grow in it. Easy to, easy to read. Read some others of the New Testament then. And maybe Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Read the book of Acts. And then, and then go back, look at some of the older uh, scriptures as well in the Old Testament once you've got a once you've grown in your understanding with the Word of God all right but 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 hey we're talking about prayer why don't you pray 
Why don't you say, Lord, I, I really need help. I, I, need to, I need to get passionate about reading the Bible, your word. Make that a prayer in your heart and watch how God will change it and you will get a passion for reading the word like you've never had it before. Amen. Amen. Arthur, you got to start reading now. Start reading the word and watch how blessed you're going to be. Yes. God bless you. Dear Pastor Andre and Jenny, you guys are doing great things around the world through this ministry. I am particularly blessed by your relationship as husband and wife. Lastly, your new book on Living For is really inspiring. I look forward to having a copy in my library. Thank you and God bless. Wow, Jen, what a time we've had. I can't believe our time is up, but uh, we got just one minute. Letters from Jen. <laughs> All right, each and every one of you ladies, if you're a lady out there, come on, get those letters from Jen uh, each and every week, once a week, every yes. Monday. All right, that letter comes in your inbox. It, it comes, but you have to subscribe to it. It's Jenny's private blog page. All right, so you can go and subscribe to it. Letters from Jen, the details on your screen right now. Uh, quickly subscribe to it. It'll send you a test email. You then answer it. You click on a link and you say, yes, that's my email address. And every Monday without fail, that email will come straight to you. You can cancel at any time. It's just about letters encouraging ladies, isn't it, Jen? Well, absolutely. In fact, um, you know, some people like to doodle and some people like to kind of spill their hearts out on paper, but really I find that every single week I wait on the Lord and He gives me something really special from His Word and downloads revelation into my heart for my own walk with Him. But I know right. that that same revelation will be a blessing to anybody who wants to receive it. It's, it really is there. All right, lettersfromjen.com. <laughs> Go to the website. It's Jenny's private blog website, lettersfromjen.com. Our time is up with you. Thank you for being with us. We love you. We appreciate you. It's been absolutely amazing. And together we're going on a journey. Remember, this is the one place where we know faith matters. Yes, God bless you. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.